Greetings, YouTube family. I'm back today with a review on the Microsoft OneNote application. This application um, is a free form note taking program, essentially, with multi user collaboration. It allows you to take notes, um, drawing, screen clippings, audio commentaries. You can place attachments, files. Um, all on an electronic notebook. So this really um, does away with the paper notebook, right? So there's a lot of benefits to actually using this program. And I'm gonna demonstrate today um, a quick review of my take on OneNote. Now, once you download the application, you should be able to download it for free on the App Store. Then you are going to be prompted um, to create your notebook. I'm going to select blue mist as my color and for my notebook name we're going to say consumer reviews. It's only fitting right? And DIY. Next towards the bottom right you're going to click on create and what Microsoft OneNote is going to create this notebook name for us because this is going to be our start. So your notebook is going to be broken up into sections and also pages. Now, my first section uh, they gave me just as an example, it was named new section one and my page is untitled page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start um, creating my notebook. Let's name my first section. Let's say earnings. Now, if you notice that actually populated in the page, so I'm going to go back to section and I'm gonna rename the section. All right, so now we have earnings. Now, in terms of my page, which is here, this is gonna be our 2020 earnings. All right, so if you notice, I have a section that's earnings, and then my page is gonna be 2020 earnings. If I wanna add another page, I can put 2021 earnings. So essentially I have a section of my notebook with two pages in it. And here I can start to draft out uh, those earnings for the years. Now let's go ahead and play around and create another section. This one, we're gonna name our goals, right? So this is gonna be our goal section. And within our goal section, we're gonna add 2020 goals. All right, and then we can start to list them off and you can get really creative here. Uh, by attaching files, attach uh, attachments, uh, whatever you want to put on your OneNote. We're gonna start with a to-do list though, or a tab for checking off our tasks or our goals. Uh, so let's say our first goal is to um, take a refresher course on programming. Next. A second goal for 2020, let's say, is to save 500 bucks. All right, so now we have two goals within 2020. Now, this can hold us accountable because we're actually writing those goals down. And when we achieve those goals, we can use the checkbox to kind of track that out. Now, you can add another section, and this one. We'll name our business plans. And then, of course, we'll add pages to our business plan. If you notice, as I'm going back up, here are my section, and here are my different pages within my sections. All right, so my business plans, I'm gonna have two pages in there. If you need to delete a page or rename it, you can do that as well. So let's say, um, let's say we're gonna put our initial plan draft all right and now we're going to add another page and the second page is going to be finances all right our third page is going to be um application process so if you notice we have a business plan section and then we have different pages to go ahead and hold ourselves accountable and track uh what we're doing Let's add one more section. This one we're gonna name concerts, 
right? Because we want to keep up with different concerts that we've been to. And we can say that, you know, let's start tracking it and say we're, we want to name this page uh, 2020 concerts. All right. And then if we want to actually even add a file or something to that, let's go ahead and add this file from my desktop onto my OneNote. And we're going to insert it as an attachment. Now, this file is just a little bit too big. So the, the limit is going to be 100. Um, looks like it was megabytes. So let's try to insert this image. All right. So if you notice, I have the image inserted. Um, I wanted to actually place that uh, concert clip, but the file is just a little bit too large to put onto OneNote. So I'll say our 2020, um, let's say YouTube images, because this image is from a uh, YouTube video that I uploaded. So we'll rename this section to images. Yep, and one cool thing about OneNote is that again, this program automatically saves as you place your information and data on it. So I'll go ahead and just for demonstration purposes, close it out. All right, and we'll quit OneNote. And I'll open it back up. And here, look, my OneNote is still here. All of my information is here. The different pages within my business plans, my 2020 goals, my earnings. Uh, let's add one more. And also you can keep a running to-do list. All right, and let's say this is going to be July to do this. And after that, you can add multiple tabs or pages within your sections. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the OneNote application, and I hope that you you're able to utilize it in the future to better manage um, your goals, your notes and your overall plans um, in life. Thank you for um, stopping by to look at this review comment, like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.